Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my first video for Stardew Valley. This is Shoji and uh, as you can see I skipped over the intro and everything and just jumped straight into the game. I've uh, tried to record a few videos of this before and uh, got interrupted and stuff so um, just made my new character put it for intro skip so I mean anyone who's watched any kind of let's play of this or anything knows the gist of the opening for the game so I can't imagine that there'd be uh, any people who don't know what it is but basically like Harvest Moon it's you know you inherited the farm from your grandfather uncle or whoever and uh, now you own the farm and it is your responsibility to take care of it and, you know, um, I'm just giving a brief rundown of it I mean, it's a great game I've been been enjoying playing it. I haven't gotten very far. I have not completed a year or anything. I mean, I've barely made it to the second month in my other, other playthrough, you know, my personal playthrough. So, you know, but it is a game that I have been enjoying playing and uh, I wanted to do a let's play with this or rather, you know, little type of a uh, guide here I don't have uh, there we go. essentially like one of the first things you want to build is a storage box and you want to figure out the lay of your land here like you know your general starting area of what you're gonna actually be doing with it and I used to do the usual stuff of just clearing out right in front of my house and going from there. I uh, picked the standard farm for this playthrough because on my other one I'm using the wilderness one and I wanted to you know, try out something a little bit new, a little bit different. So the farm does have a different layout. Obviously uh, standard is your basic farm while the wilderness one you get monsters at night on your farm I mean, you know if you like that aspect of the game it's a great farm to choose I mean I enjoy the monster fight and again uh, I've been a big fan of like Rune Factory and Harvest Moon so you know this game is actually a welcome change of pace in a way um, as far as I know they're not making any new Rune Factories which is kind of sad because uh, you know it's a great game it's it's a change of pace from what they do with harvest moon of just being a farming game you know you do get the whole uh combat system in there and everything and you know i did enjoy the rune factory tides of destiny that was a awesome game uh at least in my opinion i know other people say otherwise but <clears throat> you know, to each your own and all that happy stuff. So what I like to do is make two treasure chests. Um, obviously it takes a lot of wood to make them, so I might be cutting down trees for a while. Um, I know I'm supposed to go meet all the villagers right now but uh, I probably won't do that right away um no, I'm gonna do right now I gotta plant the parsnips and I'm probably gonna go to the general store to get some Get some more seeds because uh, you always want to make as many get as many seeds as you possibly can I have uh, gone into the option and turned on the tool hit indicator and the item placement indicators I also turned down the audio for music a little bit because that's 
seems to have been a bit of a issue for me when I do the recording the um, music audio seems to be very very loud I don't know if you know that's the intention but it seems like music audio in this game does get a bit <laughs> loud uh, so I would suggest to um, I would hope that they would put in a choice for you to adjust audio before you start the game I mean especially for streamers and you know recording youtubers and stuff uh, an ability to adjust the audio prior to the game would be uh, a welcome thing it's welcome for like almost any game because you know some games have very very loud audio I've run into a few issues in playing a few games or trying to record a few games where you know uh, audio was way too loud and I couldn't be heard so you know just saying I am almost out of energy this will be the last trick I could I think Yep. I am at the point of exhaustion, actually, just to make a little bit of extra money. I'm gonna throw this fiber and this uh, sap in there. I'm gonna say hi to a few of the villagers now, you know, just to get that out of the way. boy talking to strangers that's perfectly normal just like totally diss me oh well, you're not what I expected now I think this game has a lot of great things that they've done with it. <clears throat> um, having an interracial person in it is one of the things. You know, having an interracial uh, NPC is great. They have people from like all types of different ways of life, not just, you know, your typical Harvest Moon stuff where you get, you know, uh, you know you get like the people who just deal with farming you have people that come from all types of different aspects of life in this game which is awesome I mean, it's not you just don't have a, a town full of farmers or something you know and I mean not to knock Harvest Moon for it because you know like I said Harvest Moon is one of my favorite games I you know grew up playing Harvest Moon 64 and the original Harvest Moon on Game Boy and stuff and it's you know it's just this game has taken I guess something that I've loved and taken it a step further and made it even better I mean they have like I said an interracial couple with a you know mixed child they have people stemming from all walks of life here you know they even have big corporation in town type thing going on the you know the wizard a uh, bum and they even go as far as letting you have you know um same-sex marriages and stuff so i think that's that's awesome that's great that's you know definitely a step in the right direction for tolerance and you know acceptance and stuff so you know great game I love how he's like in his shop and it's like oh yeah if you want seeds come to my shop and he's like chilling out she's the pale one with the purple hair like uh, okay author of yoba <clears throat> <laughs> like a yeah you what the hell's going on here is there some kind of cult 
but it looks like I can't buy um seeds at the moment. I was gonna buy some seeds, but Perry doesn't seem to be behind the counter, so um Star Drop Saloon. Got like 27 people you can introduce yourself to in this game so you know there's quite a bit of introduction going on in here you know. it always looks like it's something but maybe it is I just don't know how to activate it or something anyways like two or three days in game for you guys and you know post that up but uh one of the things i like to do with my chest is put one outside because this is where i put my farming stuff so you know my axe my hole well not really the axe and the hole i mean the axe and the pickaxe but you know there you go. Well, that's what I wanted to do. I like that. The first night is over. Nights go, days go by kind of quick in this game. Um, but that's pretty cool. I mean, it's okay. It's not nothing not different from Harvest Moon. Day one of spring. You 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 notice you, in these games you always start off in spring. <laughs> it's like, no, I want to start off in the dead of winter where you can't farm a damn thing. That would be something. <laughs> it's like make it a choice. Where do you when do you want to start your farming life? Dead of winter. Just dead of winter. Screw it. You know. Look, I just moved in. I'm getting mail. Oh no! And then, uh. Oh yeah, Willy. He's got a. Let me see. I'll take the coal siphon the water can back. I mean, honestly, at this point, there's no point in me leaving it. Oh, oh. Damn it. This isn't Harvest Moon or Ruin Factory. I can't charge. But you do get the sprinkler system and stuff up eventually in the game. I mean, I've seen some playthroughs. Or, not really playthroughs, but uh, tips and tricks about the game. And I know you eventually do get a sprinkler system or something. So, you know, that's something to look forward to. Let's see if I can get another uh, 50 woods to build another... chest for my house so I can keep the indoor stuff in there. Two woods. Let's build one just for shits and giggles. Let me see here. I forget how the placement works in this game sometimes. Maybe can I put it right there? Oh shoot! There we go. Is that kind of awkward? Yeah, it is kind of awkward, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Well, no, it works actually. My bad. I wonder can I'm gonna move this back one step put a gate or probably put the gate over here yeah so I'm, yeah, you know just i always like to 
to have a chest in the house for my house chest is always red. Actually, all my chests are always red, not just house chests. But here, I'm gonna throw in that clay, some wood, and stone, and coal. Those are my like. I find out later on in the game you actually need to hold on to as much clay as you can when you find it. Um, it is a bitch. You need clay for building things, so hang on to the clay. Just saying, you know. I'm gonna pick these up because I need them for the community book later at least one of them and go back into town and introduce myself to everybody be like hello oh, kitty I'm the new guy on the farm I'm sorry I'm not a rapist I'm just weird uh, bring me one seaweed at twice the market value uh, okay, I can try to get you seaweed. I mean, I, I'm not gonna guarantee you it, but you know, fuck it. Let's go farm, uh, fishing. I guess. Pam wants seaweed. Pam probably wants to do a seaweed wrap or something. Well, okay, bye, weird little girl. Let me go meet Willy. Willy, 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 Willy. Look at Willy. Holy, there's just like a pirate. <clears throat> Heard of a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. important to keep the sport of fishing alive remember that people whenever you're stressed from life just go live out on a farm and you know farm and fish and if you're not already married you might meet a nice cute girl out there <laughs> nah I'm just kidding I mean you know if it smells it sells I'm just trying to catch that, uh... Seaweed. I'm terrible at the fishing game, by the way. Just letting you know. Oh, shit. Oh, they made this one easy for him. What is it? A herring. A lovely. Max. Hey, seaweed. Got it real quick, huh? My buddy, my buddy, my buddy. How much is a pole? 500 for a bamboo pole. Is that like a, I think that's an improvement. I think I'll get that after I get my backpack though. Um, there's like so much you can do in this game. <laughs> it's, it's like, you don't even have to be a farmer, honestly. You can be a botanist, grow freaking flowers. I mean, you just farm until you can get far enough in the game to actually start doing whatever you want. Basically, I mean, you can just mine and make money off of mining.
but that doesn't open till like three days later or something I believe like right here the uh, library got robbed of their art artifacts so you know this guy's like hey, hey guy can you bring me artifacts like if you find anything donate them you know we kind of don't have any display so you know you become the good Samaritan you can actually go through trash look at this I found the anchovy in the trash this is your blacksmith dude this ain't hot to him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How many more people am I missing for introduction? Jesus. Like, uh. Eight more people. It's that big corporation, Georgia. I think it's funny how um, you basically started at the game working for Georgia. What the hell? Take your seaweed, you crazy lady. Sixty gold for a seaweed. Yeah, I don't mind ripping you off. Have a nice day, Pam. Oh, Abigail. It looks so short though. I didn't realize you were that short. <laughs> oh shoot. Um is he at the behind up? Lewis. Oh let me go interrupt the girls doing the aerobics. This is fun. Look at them. Upgrade, so you see here. I'm gonna buy maybe five more parsnips, maybe. Oh, damn it! I ran out of space in my bag. Time to buy more. I forget if this is in the community book. I'm gonna try to remember what's what, you know. Most hardy anchovies, is it? I'll put the set that again. The anchovy and. I don't think the heron was, but you know. I have a few late. I'm 
who am I missing to introduce myself to? Um, I believe it's... Oh, I know who it is. It's not seven people done, I'm sure, but... down there he's always in his room I mean you rarely see him out he comes out like at night or something I forget Sebastian is his name it's a royal pain in the ass actually track him down actually finally get the uh, introduction out of the way and who else I'm missing Haley I think she's a blonde girl she's sometimes over here but she's not here right now uh oh Okay, she usually sits on that bench and go see if I can find her at her house. And uh, who else am I missing? There's someone else. No, I'm missing people. brother. That's the one I'm looking for. I'm getting close. I want one, two, three, four people away. If I can only just find them. These four people. Oh, the old guy in the wheelchair. That's Alex. Which one's the other one? I don't forget his damn name. He's got like blonde spiky hair. So. He might be at the slow. back in his house finally. They're making his way there. <laughs> Visiting times.
Hold on a moment. Alright, sorry about that. I had to uh, answer text messages. So I'm actually um, quite excited that they are trying to implement a multiplayer mode into this game, which I believe that's a great thing to do. Oh, you just moved in. Cool. Right. What's up? Uh, freaking hell. I'm missing two more people. I don't know who I'm missing. All right. Oh, look at that. Forage and leveled up. I can do wild seeds and a field snack. And the great aspect they have in here is the whole leveling system, kind of like you do with um, Rune Factory. I don't know if any of the newer Harvest Moons have that whole leveling system for your farming. I remember you got better at farming if you got better tools in that game. Like, you know, when you upgraded from the one thing to the next. It's a rainy day. I have to just leave my watering can in here. You know. I think they just say that when it's rainy days, it's a good time to go mining and stuff. Also, after rainy days, look out for uh, worms in the dirt because they give you some good stuff there too. like visiting hours posted on their houses and so then you go to the the house and it's like oh yeah visiting hours are between this time and this time no oh, okay cool i'll come back later then you know 
hate to be an inconvenience. Mm, he's thirsty. The hell? Sounds like a frog. Frog Lord's gonna eat us. I feel like I'm about to die. Some type of swamp monster is going to come out and eat me. Hardest, one of the hard things to come by is hardwood in this game. At least for me, as I find it that I haven't had much luck finding hardwood. Not in the uh, regular forest areas. So I know that, um... One of the tips they give is to open up the way to the hidden forest as soon as possible. Which you do that by upgrading your axe and you go up there where I was at just a while ago where there's a... Where there's the uh... What you call it? The, the tree is in the way. And you gotta lock uh, cut down the tree that's in the way the well it's not a upright tree it's you know um, a knockdown down log you not cut down that log and then you cut down that log it gives you access to the uh, the forest so you know I try to give out a couple of tips where I can. I mean, I don't know everything about this game. I won't claim to be some type of pro because I'm far from it, but you know. Very weird and eerie sounds in this game sometimes though. 
really does make you think like something's gonna happen. Some weird type of howling beast is gonna come get you. Just come out of nowhere, snatch you right up. my way through all this crap. Huh. This is what the rest of your farm looks like. Lovely, isn't it? Honestly, I'm thinking of using my axe, but the easiest way to get rid of all these plants is with the scythe here, because it does not use energy. All that later. Let's see here. Wood. Mm -hmm. One of these, these, and I think I'm good right there. Little fibers just laying all over the place. Look at this. Plant fibers, plant fibers, plant fibers. Some seeds, plant fibers. I put away all my wood, huh? Oh well. For me, ladies and gents, uh, day three, going on day four, I don't think I've recorded enough, don't you think? Uh, thank you for watching, have a great one, stay tuned, I will give you more. Uh, let me know in the comments what you want to see, more Stardew Valley, more zombies, more Destiny, more arc i mean i have tons of games i can play for you guys i mean if you want to see more of this and something else let me know and i'll gladly sit here and try to make the time to record videos for you guys and post up here i know i haven't really been doing much content i've been very busy with life um you know i've been taking care of my daughter because school was out and school's just getting back in and uh so I will have that little bit of free time to record a video or two here and there and uh, I don't mind doing it you know I actually do want to sit here and provide content for people I got Dark Souls 3 I got you know Bloodborne uh, lots of games so you know let me know what you want to see and if I got it hey I'll do something on it I mean some GTA uh, I don't have that one yet I will buy that though I'm gonna be getting World War 2 Call of Duty, so storyline maybe. Um, plan on getting Dragon's Dogma, and I do plan on getting Monster Hunter World. So if there is no nothing holding me back from recording that, that will definitely be something you will see on my channel. And the Dragon Dragon's Dogma, 
remake for PS4. Uh, <clears throat> new Need for Speed game. Looks decent. I'm not really sure how good it's going to be yet. But it looks promising. So I might do some of that too. So I mean I do have some ideas of stuff I want to do. But as always your input matters. Your input is what will determine what I do. Do you want me to do Elder Scrolls with storyline, without the storyline, cut the chatter and just play the game? You know, stuff like that. As always, thank you for watching. Thanks for giving me your time and listening to me ramble. Uh, hit that like, share, subscribe. Make sure you become part of the notification crew here, you know always welcome hit that little bell make sure you know have the notifications on so you know when i post new stuff and uh hope to see you in the next video see ya